as that was taking place, my mom was stuck in the word of faith movement, the prosperity gospel, the whole thing. And I get a call from her one night and she, she says, Matt, Matt, start praying now, pray now. And I said, mom, what's going on? She said, I don't have time. Just pray now. And I said, okay, okay. And, and she hung up on me and I was praying. I was like, you know, like, God, like, you know, help my mom. I don't know what's going on here. And, um, she, uh, ended up calling me back, uh, probably about 20 minutes later. And she said, uh, he's dead. He's dead. And I said, who, who is dead? Who are you? What are you, what are you talking about? Who are you talking about, mom? And she goes, Gary her husband, my stepdad, he's dead. He's dead. And I was like, mom, I'm on my way. And I went and I rushed down there. Uh, they, they rushed him to the hospital. They couldn't save him. He died. And I watched my mom crumble in the hospital in front of me. I've never seen this woman cry in my life. And, uh, she crumbled in front of me and I, I just shook my head. And what I found out was incredibly shocking. She, didn't call the ambulance right away when he died in her arms. She attempted to raise him from the dead and it didn't happen. And then she called the ambulance and then the ambulance came and they said, if you were to call us sooner, then maybe something would have happened, but it's too late now. And I watched my mom just, just walk away from God and walk away from all that she knew and all of her word of faith prosperity, hyper charismania, it just instantly fell off of her. She closed her Bible. She stopped watching the sermons. She stopped quoting anything. And I remember coming to her house one day and she had HD, HG TV on. And I was like, oh, that's weird. Normally she's always having these like, you know, these preachers that are preaching 24 seven because in the word of faith movement, it's the, if, if you can continuously have like the word of God, what they, what they say is the word of God, uh, playing over and over again, you can like shift the atmosphere. You can change things. There's like power in the word and things like that. And so they're all about word and audibility and so forth. And so, uh, one day I went over to her house and HGTV was on and I was like, I'm like, that's, that's odd. That's weird. And I remember all of her stuff was put away. She cleaned up her, her, uh, like her bookshelf and everything was gone. Thanks so much for watching that clip from the Why Jesus podcast. If you want to see the full episode, click right here. And you can also find us on all streaming services. God bless.